when we get in trouble, we ought to be able to hear our, our grandmama <laughs> or our parents, our mom and daddy. You know, we ought to be able to hear somebody in our ear, in our head, repeating what we learned as a kid, right? As far as train them up, train them up in the way that they should go. Y'all familiar with that. We've heard that a million times. But when you didn't have proper training and you've really been trained up in the way, then, you know what I'm saying? When you get older, you won't depart from it because it'd be a part of you. It'd be a part of your psyche. It'd be a part of your mental get down. You know what I'm saying? It's how you was brought up. A lot of kids out here today, man, are getting in a lot of trouble. You know, they're finding themselves in precarious situations and they don't know how to handle it. They don't know what to do. They don't know who to call on. You know why? Because they haven't been trained properly. You feel me? And so when these situations arise and these circumstances happen and they don't know what to do, they don't know what to say. They don't know how to think critically to assess the situation, figure a way out through it, around it, over it or under it. They don't have those skills because, again, they have not been trained in the way. Of course, it's our job as parents to look out for our kids. You know what I'm saying? Make sure that make sure that they safe, they they're fed, they're clothed. <laughs> you know, they have they have what they need. You know, mentally they're straight, emotionally they tight. That's our job as parents, right? To make sure our kids are ready to face the day, whatever challenge that that may present. But if we don't train them, if we don't prepare them for what's out there, then what's gonna happen? They're going to come home crying and sniveling every day and woe is me. And, and it's, just, it's going to be rough and it's going to be hard and it's going to be our fault because we did not train them in the way. Right. The only way they can go out there and survive and know how to navigate life's daily you know, obstacles is to have a plan in place. And that plan consists of training. Right. Every day training them, you know, what I'm saying not just schoolwork. So they know their homework. They know what is being taught and they can participate in kind, but also to navigate that playground, to navigate walking home. If you got to walk to in school, also how to navigate that bus. If you got to ride that bus, you dig. I can tell you some stories about the bus, but it's our job to train them how to navigate all these things in life. Right. All these life obstacles. And when they have received good training, not just mediocre training or sorry training, because those do exist out there. There are some parents out there that they just don't care that much or they let them figure it out. I had to figure it out. <laughs> but good training. We talk about good, solid training, training every day, making sure that they know certain things every day. It's 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 drilled into their head. And they wrote it on the tablets of their heart. They have it. They know it backwards and forwards. That's training. When you can question them and they can answer correctly. They can answer quickly. They're not stumbling and fumbling and trying to think about it. Oh, I forgot. They know it. That's training. The training causes us to know things. It causes us to be able to recall things quickly. It causes us to be able to memorize what we need to learn quickly. Training. You got to put time in for training. You got to be dedicated to training. You got to study and know what you're talking about when you're training. You did. So training is so important. Now, the book of Proverbs, the 22nd chapter and verse six says, train up a child in the way that he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And we wonder why. Kids is going crazy out here and it seems like the world is just going to hell in a handbasket. You dig? Because they haven't been properly trained. And that falls on us as parents. Maybe you weren't trained as a parent. Maybe you really didn't know what you was doing when you had kids. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? Understandable. But yet in 2023, it's time out for all that, man. You know what I'm saying? You can get on YouTube and find out what you know. You can research the internet. You have all kind of access 24-7 to get the help.
to get the training, to get the instruction, the advice, the wisdom that you and I need to be able to train up our children in the way, right? I know it says train them up in the way they should go, but honestly, I think we read that scripture wrong, right? Train a child up in the way they should go. You don't know the way they should go, and neither do I know the way that they should go, but we do know that we're to train them up in the way. Ah, yeah, see, we don't, we, we like to skim over that. No, it says train them up in the way. What's the way? Jesus said, I am the truth, the way, and the life. You dig? So this is the way that we are to train them up. We're to train them up in the way. Train them up in the way of God. Train, train them up in the way of Christ. Train them up in the way of the word. Right? That's what it means to train them up in the way. The way is the way of God. If you train them up in that way, then it says there's a promise that comes with that. See, we don't look at it like that. You as a parent have a promise given to you if you train your child up in the way. And that promise is what? That when they get older, not in their teens, not in their young adults. I mean, it could happen then. But when they get older, meaning when they've matured, when they live life, when they've been through some circumstances and some situations, you dig? When they've had to defend themselves and speak up for themselves, when they've had to learn to be quiet and fall back, when they've experienced life, then when they get old, the Bible says, this is a promise to us as parents, when they get old, they shall not depart. Why? Because they've lived life enough. enough. They've lived enough experiences to look back and realize that, you know, what mama and daddy told me, what grandma told me, what, what my, my people that reared me, what they trained me in. Now I see why they trained me. Now I see why they stayed on me. Now I see why they were constantly challenging me and testing me in the way. Because now that I'm old and I've seen some things and I realized some things, it's come to my understanding now. Wow. I'm so grateful. I'm so, I'm so happy. I'm so thankful that my parents trained me up in the way. Not the way that they thought I should go as far as a career path or, you know, life choices and, and marriage and shit. No, no, we're talking about that. I'm glad they trained me up in the way. And the way is the way of God. Because as long as I have God and they've trained me up in the way, then as I've gotten old and older, I have not departed from it. And even if I did depart, it was only for a very short season because... I just didn't feel good. It just, you know, when I'm separated from the Lord and not under his covering as umbrella, it's a very lonely, vulnerable, <laughs> naked feeling. You did. It's, it's not cool. So I'm so glad that, you know, he's kept people in my in my sphere when I was younger, growing up and even coming into young adulthood. He God kept putting people in my face, even before I was saved. He kept putting people before me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I just got to a point that I just eventually said, okay, God, I give. I give, uncle. You know, I, I say uncle. <laughs> I, I I give. I see, you know, you're loving me and, you, and you're and you sending people. And, 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 and obviously, you want me for a specific work. And I'm tired of running. I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of giving people excuses. I'm tired of ducking and dodging. For, okay, God, I give. <laughs> you dig? But it was because my grandmother, in her own way, taught me in the way. She took me to church every Sunday. You dig? Though she didn't. She didn't talk about scripture a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Every once in a while, she put something out there. But her actions, how she how she moved, how she walked, the things she did, how she interacted with people showed me the way. You dig? So I just want to come on real quick, man, and just bless y'all on this Testify Tuesday with that. You dig? If you have little children, teach them, rear them, grow them up, and train them in the way. 
And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Did it? So we're going to train them up in the way. We got to train them up in the way of Yahshua. Not in the way we think and not in the way the world wants to pull them. You dig? His way. Yo, be blessed on today, man. I just want to come on real quick on this Test Fight Tuesday and just give y'all what God gave me this morning, right? About training up our children. And when we train them up, how are we training them? Are we training them in the way? Or are we training them in the way that we think they should go? Or what we think is best? Or because of what we've seen or glean, we say, oh, yeah, yeah this is wh where I need to plug you in at. Train them up in the way which is the way of Christ. You dig? And when they get older, they'll remember. They won't depart from it. Your man, LeVon, I'm out. Remember, Lamella E, love, uplift, motivate, inspire, learn, laugh, encourage, and enlighten. You dig? LaMelle.com. Please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that bell notification so you're always notified whenever I upload content. And please like this video. Share this video. It'll really help the algorithm. It'll help get my subscribers up. Trying to get to 2,000 subscribers, y'all. You dig? Once you help me do it, Devon says, I'm out.